Hi, Barbara Ann Mojica, a.k.a. Little Miss History, with you for another session of the Two Minute Teacher. How to set up a mini lesson in just a couple of minutes. Today's lesson is Waiting Games, Keeping Kids Busy While They Wait. Now the materials for this are an ID sheet that I got from What Do We Do All Day, Waiting Games, and some everyday items depending on the activity. The link to this activity sheet will be in the show notes today. It is listed on my printer's board or you can go directly to that website, What Do We Do All Day. Now, the procedure is simple. There are 20 ideas on this sheet. Read through the list of 20 ideas, and when you find yourself in a situation in which children are waiting and you want to keep them busy, try to fill in the time with one of these activities. Now, some of them are simple. They can be done orally. Some are a little bit more complex and will require everyday materials or pencils, paper, and maybe even internet research. These activities can be done individually, in a group, or you can set up a competition with several children. For example, there are activities that involve silly sentences. In this activity, the child picks five random letters, and with those five random letters, they have to come up with silly sentences like, H R T B T. Henry read three books today. Or scrap a paper full. That's an easy one. You just take a piece of paper, a scrap paper, and tell the child that they have to catch it with two fingers. The first one to catch it with two fin fingers before it hits the ground is the winner. Or if you're in a doctor's office or other area in which there are lots of magazines, you can do a magazine scavenger hunt. Select certain items that the children have to find, and the first one to find all of the items in a magazine is the winner. I hope you've had fun with this little activity. Please hit subscribe and click notifications. I will have new lessons for you every Friday. And if you want even more family fun, check out my website, www.little.com. MissHistory.com. Till next time, bye.